Welcome back. The book of Ephesians chapter 3, I'm reading from verse 18. And it says, And may you have the power to understand. May you have the capacity. May you have the capability. May you have what it takes to understand. What do you need to understand? As all God's people should have the power and the capacity to understand. How wide, how long, and how, how high, and how deep is His love. Because actually what you're, here, what you're learning to do is you're touching the continuous perfect state of being. So if you, if you say how high, how wide, how deep is the love of God? Well, how high is His perfection? How wide is His perfection? How deep is His perfection? So His, his ways that He's with us is, is so completely towards us. This, this God that's perfect. He's perfect in the way that He loves us. The way that He, he just is there for us. He wants us to be just like Him on the earth. He wants us to live like Him on the earth. That's why He made Adam and Eve so that they could live on the earth as He lives in heaven. And so that's why Jesus prayed in, in the New Testament and He says, this is how you should pray. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So if we talk about how high is His love, how, deep, how wide, how deep, how strong is His love for us, it's, it's infinite. There's no, there's no, uh, you can't challenge, you can't challenge that it with a problem. You can't challenge it with, a, with any issues. The love is big enough, strong enough, powerful enough to overcome everything. That's why the Apostle Paul is praying and saying, you should understand this. Because if you understand this, you will trust him. You will trust him. You will completely trust him. And then verse 19, he goes on to say, May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Of course, who can understand the, uh, this continuous perfect state of being fully? It's impossible, not with our human mind. With our spirit, we can connect with Him and we can uh, experience Him through the mighty power in the inner man. We can experience Him. But his prayer is, may you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. But he's praying, he says, may you understand it as much as you can understand it, as much as you learn to trust him, as much as you are strong in him. May your understanding grow fuller, 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 higher, wider, deeper. Then you will be made, and this is such a beautiful way to end our session here together today, then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. I mean, that is such an amazing thing. I, if I have to say to you, is your life complete? Then you'd say, mm, probably not. And I'd say, well, what would make your life complete? Well, that would take some thinking, but you might want to look at material things. And I'd say, unlikely that anything material... Money is not going to make your life complete. Cars, houses, it's not going to make your life complete. It might help you in the way that you live, but that's not going to make your life complete. Well, what is going to make your life complete? There's only one thing that's a joy, a peace, and a love on the inner, inside of you, a trusting Him on the inside of you that will make you complete. There's nothing external that can make you complete. It might help you to live. You might have a bit more flexibility in your decision making. You might have a little more security. Little, because it, the, the money and materialism doesn't necessarily relate to security. But you might feel like it does. But completeness, that can only be found in Him. I look forward to sharing with you next session about what it is to be more complete. Mm -hmm.